It has the makings of a Hollywood heist, something you'd see on the big screen. Police aren't saying how much the criminals took, but it would be hard to rival this incident 11 years ago. It's the 25th of March 2006. A group of armed men have been planning this day for months. Flight SA-237 touches down on the tarmac from London. On board, 100 million rand in local and foreign currency. Police will launch a massive manhunt in the days that follow. In no time, several suspects are arrested, some of them trying to flee to Zimbabwe. It's a mammoth trial lasting several years. It's also beset with delays, the court ordering 50 postponements. The state calling almost 60 witnesses to the stand. It also emerges that the gang wasn't working alone. Three airport staff turned state witness in exchange for lighter sentences. Fast forward 11 years and perhaps not all that much has changed. Officials say the culprits may have had intimate knowledge of airport security. Only authorized persons may gain access to, to that who have either permits or who have been duly authorized to gain access in that, in that area. Police now picking up the pieces, hoping they won't have to make the same promises again. There is commitment from ourselves and AXA uh, to intensify our airports, uh, our security at the airports, uh, to avoid the recurrence of uh, incidents uh, like the one that uh, has happened. There have been massive changes to Africa's busiest airport since 2006. Even the name has changed, but critics say old habits die hard, with thieves seemingly still checking in as they please. Two words being whispered around the runways here are inside and job. Michael Apple, Johannesburg.